Jesus Christ is not God. For me, God was only Allah. And I believe Allah never married, so no son for Allah. So I preach there that Jesus is not God. Then somebody asked me, who is Jesus? From the crowd. Maybe a Muslim, but he asked me, who is Jesus? I was preaching he is not God. But the question, who is he? To know who is he, I read the entire Quran once again. 114 chapters, 6,666 verses in Quran. When I read it, the name of Prophet Muhammad I found in Quran four places, but the name of Jesus I found 25 places. There itself I was little confused. Why Quran giving more preference for Jesus? And second thing, I could not see any women's name in Quran, Prophet Muhammad's mother name or wife's name or children name. No, in the Quran there is only one woman name I found, Maryam, the mother of Jesus. No other woman name. And in the Holy Quran chapter 3, the name of the chapter is Family of Maryam. And the Holy Quran chapter 19, the name of the chapter itself is Maryam. One chapter is Maryam. So I was very curious to know why this Quran says all these things. About Maryam, the Holy Quran chapter 3 verses 34 onwards says that Mary was born without original sin. She never committed any sin in her life. She was ever virgin. Uh, Quran chapter 50 verses 23 says that she went to heaven with her physical body. Even the assumption is written in Holy Quran. And then about Jesus, when I read chapter 3 verses 45 to 55 verses, there are 10 points which Quran makes about Jesus. The first thing Quran says, Kalimatullah, the Arabic word which means word of God. And the second thing, Ruhullah, which means spirit of God. And the third is Isal Masih, which means Jesus Christ. So Quran gives the name for Jesus, word of God, spirit of God, Jesus Christ. And then Quran says that Jesus spoke when he was very small, like two days old after his birth. He began to speak. Quran says that Jesus created alive birds with mud. He took some mud, formed a bird, when he breathed it into it, it became a live bird. So I think that he can give life. He gives life to a mud, clay. And then Quran says that Jesus cured a man born blind and a man with leukoderma, leprosy, etc. Continuously, Quran says that Jesus gave life to dead people. Jesus went to heaven, he is still alive and he will come again. When I saw all these things in Quran, my thinking was what the Quran says about uh, Muhammad. You know, according to Quran, Prophet Muhammad is not the word of God, not the spirit of God, never spoke when he was two days old, never created any bird with mud, never cured any sick people, never raised any dead people. He himself died and according to Islam, he is not alive and he will not come back. So there is a lot of difference between these two prophets. I, I, I don't call Jesus as God, you know. My idea was he's a prophet, but he's a prophet greater than Muhammad. So one day I went to my teacher, the one who taught me 10 years in Arabic always, and I asked him, teacher, how the God created the universe? Then he said, God created the universe through the word. Through the word. Then my question, word is creator or creation? Must clear it. My question, whether the word of God is creator or creation. Quran says Jesus is word of God. If my teacher said the word of God is creator, which means Jesus is creator, then the Muslims must become Christian.